I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. In this video, I want to share with you my expertise in painless infiltration of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. The technique involves four phases. The first is making adits in the skin, which are ho small holes made with the punch biopsy for introducing infiltration cannulas. The second is uh, using a spinal needle to infiltrate small amounts of fluid that will allow subsequent infiltration with a larger blunt-tipped cannula. The third is using a Monty, a full Monty cannula for large volume tumescent infiltration. And finally, the fourth involves using a, a tip Monty to check all of the areas of infiltration for complete anesthesia. Infiltration of a large volume of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia requires the use of a peristaltic infiltration pump and special tumescent infiltration pump tubing. There are three type of Monty cannulas. There's a tip Monty cannula with holes just at the distal end of the cannula, a half Monty cannula with holes down the distal half of the cannula, and the full Monty with holes ranging virtually the entire length of the cannula. The use of a full Monty is the secret to infiltration of a large volume of tumescent anesthesia in a painless fashion. We put little blebs of the tumescent local anesthesia in the skin through which we will place a one millimeter holes using a one millimeter punch biopsy. These little holes are called adits. Uh, uh, one millimeter punch uh, virtually leaves no scar uh, and it allows multiple insertions without traumatizing the dermis and epidermis and avoids post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Here we're using an, a 20 gauge spinal needle to infiltrate a relatively small amount of tumescent local anesthesia, tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. The small, the small volume will be intended to infiltrate just enough to allow subsequent passage of a larger blood tip Monte cannula which will do most of the infiltration. So we'll infiltrate different directions and, and, and then later on when the Montes are inserted we will follow the same path. This is a tip Monte with holes on the distal end, a half Monte halfway down the, and a full Monte with holes virtually the whole length of the cannula. The full Monte has the advantage of delivering large volumes of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia in a fairly rapid uh, fashion with very little local distension of tissue because the holes are distributed along the entire length of the cannula. This makes for painless infiltration. So we're going to use two uh, cannulas at the same time for this relatively large abdomen in anticipation of doing liposuction totally by local anesthesia. So now we're placing the two full Monte cannulas. We use uh, labeling on the bags of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia to assure that there has been no accidental or inadvertent infiltration by IV infusion. Now the, the, we're actually pumping uh, fluid into the abdomen now. It's gradually becoming more tumescent and uh, we can feel that it's becoming swollen and firm. After uh, a sufficient area of tumescence has been created, we'll change the entrance sites and the, uh, go through different adits until the entire abdomen is well anesthetized. This is basically a painless procedure because the lidocaine has already been infiltrated somewhat with a spinal needle. So we can infiltrate, we can insert these blunt-tipped 16 gauge cannulas with uh, virtually no discomfort. And we continue to infiltrate uh, using the peristaltic pump. Now we're switching to a, a single tip Monty uh, to infiltrate around the umbilicus. And this is the final stage of the tumescent anesthesia, infiltrating uh, wherever there is less than full tumescence. And we're also simultaneously checking for good anesthesia. So the patient's awake and telling us that there is no discomfort, or if there is any discomfort, we'll infiltrate more anesthesia in that location. We have now completed the tumescent infiltration, and this is an example of a tumescent abdomen that is swollen, firm, and vasoconstricted, and ready for tumescent liposuction after we've allowed uh, an hour or more for detumescence to occur. 
By following the four phases demonstrated in this video, you should be able to infiltrate large volumes of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia in a painless fashion. For more information, go to tumescent.org. Thank you for watching this video.